So today we're taking a first look at Synology's DS1525 Plus network attached storage device. This is a NAS that many of us have been waiting for and this one might finally hit the sweet spot for creators, home labbers and small businesses alike. The DS1525 Plus packs more speed, more expansion and supplies more flexibility than before including two 5 gig USB ports front and rear, dual NVMe storage, and support for up to 15 drives. So, if you've been thinking about upgrading your setup, this might be the one to watch. Welcome back to the channel. If you like networking gear, product reviews, and how-to videos, then be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. Let me know down in the comments, what is your current NAS setup? I'd love to know who's using Synology, TerraMaster, QNAP, TrueNAS, or maybe something completely custom. So right out of the box, the DS1525 Plus feels like a refined evolution of the 5 base series. Similar footprint, but the story is all about what's inside and the latest DSM. First off, the DS1525 Plus gives you 5 drive bays, which is the perfect balance for most medium sized workloads. The unit also supports two DX525 expansion bays connected over USB-C meaning it scales up to 15 drives. So if you're a content creator that stores massive amounts of data or a small business running VMs or just a Plex monster, this unit definitely has room to grow. Question for you, do you actually think you would scale up to 15 drives? Let me know down below in the comments. The 1525 Plus also comes with two NVMe slots on the bottom of the unit. You can use these slots for storage for a super fast SSD volume or if you prefer to accelerate your hard drive ray for faster file transfers then caching is also an option. This unit gives you a ton of options for connectivity as well. You get two 3.2 Gen 1 USB ports. Synology gives us one on the front as well as one on the rear of the unit. On the networking side you get two 2.5 gig Ethernet ports which can be combined for up to a 5 gig aggregated connection. So if your switch supports it, you could see a real bump in throughput. So if 5 gig isn't enough, Synology included a PCIe expansion slot where you can drop in a 10 gig ethernet card, instantly leveling up your workflow. Especially useful if you're editing video right off the NAS. Internally, Synology went with the AMD V1500B, a quad-core 8-thread processor that's been a solid performer in previous business class models. It handles virtualization, Docker, and Synology's apps without breaking a sweat. Backing that up, you get 8 gig of DDR4 ECC memory, and you can upgrade it to 32 gig if your workload demands it. Okay, now let's talk about drive compatibility for a moment. With the recent release of DSM 7.3, the DS1525 Plus supports Synology hard drives and third-party drives as well. This gives you a ton of flexibility, not only with price, but capacity as well. So the DS1525 Plus looks quite impressive. It offers great performance, expansion capabilities, modern connectivities, and tons of flexibility with hard drives now. So would you like me to do a full setup on this? Let me know down in the comments below. And would you consider this to be your next NAS? Please also tell me down in the comments. So if you got any value out of this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. And if you'd like to see more NAS content like this, please click the video on the screen. Thank you so much for watching.